Okay, I'm going to be reading just the basics. This is what I want you to do today. Um, so again, my pages were from 36 and 37. I'll first begin with the who. James M. Rubenstein, author of Contemporary Human Geography, um, is who wrote my section. Because it is a textbook and given to you by me, a teacher, it is safe to assume that there isn't much bias. When was this text written? The copyright date for this book is 2016, so it is safe to say this book, and book was written in the last three to four years. What is this article or section about? These two pages are about population concentration. The bullet points focus on where the population of the world is concentrated and the impact of harsh environments on regions with less population. How does this article or section uh, show the information portrayed? This is from a textbook, so the reading is very jumpy. Uh, however, the book has three paragraphs uh, dedicated to population concentrations, population cartogram, and population clusters. Um, it also has explanations of the diagram itself. Where in the world does this article or section of the book talk most about? According to the text, about two-thirds of the world's inhabitants are clustered in four regions. Europe, East Asia, South Asia, and Southeast Asia. The book contains a short paragraph about each region and how the populations are concentrated. This section also discusses where the population is not so clustered, specifically in cold lands, wetlands, highlands, and dry lands. Why was this article or section of the book written? This section of the book emphasizes where people are distributed. The world is mostly populated in four regions, Europe, East Asia, South Asia, and Southeast Asia. However, the population of the world isn't just in these four regions. The different climates and site factors of the less populated regions make it harder for humans to cluster there, but humans still make it through with technological, medical, and agricultural innovations. And that was my basics for my page.